Uh, new developments tonight in the resignation of one of the members of the Vatican's commission to protect minors. Father Hans Zollner held a news conference today not long after his recent resignation. He says the decision to step down had to do with, quote, structural and practical issues within the commission. EWTN News Vatican correspondent Colin Flynn joins us now. Colin, great to see you as always. Uh, can you tell us more about today's press conference and what caused Father Zollner's departure? I can indeed, and a very good evening, Tracy. Well, Father Hans Zollner is regarded as one of the leading experts when it comes to the protection of minors and vulnerable people within the Catholic Church. And for the past nine years, he has worked at the very centre of the Pontifical Commission for the Protection of Minors since it was established by Pope Francis in 2014. And its job was, and still is, to help implement policies and safeguarding measures across the Catholic Church to ensure the safety and security of children. And Father Zollner's work within the Commission has gained him international recognition as a strong advocate for abuse victims of the Church. So when he announced two weeks ago that he was suddenly resigning, it was a shock to many in the Church and left questions unanswered. So today, Father Zollner held a press conference here in Rome where he further outlined his decision to resign from the Commission in light of what he described as lack of accountability, lack of clarity and organizational issues, all of which he said caused a great deal of confusion within the Commission, ultimately affecting its ability to work in an effective way. Now, he said his decision to step down was not an easy one to make and that the only way to improve the commission was to resign and highlight the problems he perceives. He said that he met with Pope Francis in January and expressed his concerns directly to him and telling him that he would be resigning. At the conference today, he said that for him, the most important aspect of the commission was that it should be a place for victims to meet, gather and be heard. But for this to be most effective, he said, he believes that there needs to be improvements within the commission around things like financial transparency, more clearly defined roles and better internal communications. And just to be clear, Tracy, he did say that in his initial statement of resignation, that was not directed at anyone specifically. And if anyone had been offended by it, that was never his intention. Colm, I'm curious, did he talk more about what he believes is the impact that these issues are having on the Commission's work? He did, because at the conference today, I asked him, Tracy, if he felt the problems and obstacles that he perceives within the Commission were ultimately affecting its ability to fulfill its mission, which is to safeguard children and protect those most vulnerable. He didn't answer the question directly, but instead he said that he believed the Commission should do the work that it was established to do. He gave some early examples of Pope Francis meeting abuse victims through the Commission, and he talked about the immense power that these had to heal. He told a number of personal stories of encounters he had with abuse victims through the Commission and how they are looking for someone to simply listen to them and understand them. Again, he stressed that he believed this should be the role of the Pontifical Mission for the Protection of Minors. And Colin, before I let you go, um, has the Pontifical Commission for the Protection of Minors responded to Father Zollner's claims? Tracy, interestingly, Father Zollner said that when he voiced his concerns and his worries within the Commission, he claims he got no response. Again, why he said he needed to resign and go public. And after he released his initial statement a number of weeks ago, Cardinal O'Malley, who is the head of the Commission, he did release a short statement saying that he was surprised and disappointed and strongly disagreed with Father Zollner's assertions that challenged the Commission's effectiveness. The Cardinal went on to say, quote, we both share the view that the protection of children and vulnerable people remains at the heart of the church's mission and the commission will continue to manifest that conviction, end quote. He also said that there was a plenary meeting coming up for the commission that was scheduled to take place in a few weeks and he said and in that meeting a lot of these concerns would be addressed. Tracy? Colin, thank you so much for that report. We appreciate it.